everyone, Susan Lazar Hart here, your congruency coach for creatives, for seekers, for those asking for a more joy-filled, juicy, uh, juicy sounds good, especially since we're talking about change and sex today. Ah, here we go. I guess we're diving right into our congruency quickie today. Uh, again, welcome to those of you who are new. Uh, this topic today came to me while I was walking this morning. Uh, I was asking a lot of questions. People are coming to me with, Susan, the changes I'm asking for are just not fast enough. Uh, when will I get to the change that I'm asking for? Well, spoiler alert, there is no end point to change. Change is who we be, it's who we are. You know, you've often heard me talking about creating your own reality and every reality has its own vibration and every vibration sends out multitude of other vibrations. So vibrations don't stop. There is no end to our growth, right? There is no end point to the changes that we're asking for. You reach a place and there's a new place and there's something else to seek. There's something else to be with. Right? And it's not like being on a treadmill where you gotta gotta change, gotta change, gotta change, gotta change. Change is change by its its innate being is change. So what has that got to do with sex, Susan? Come on, I came on here for the sex part. <laughs> well, when you're with somebody, when you're when you're you're involved in a sexual activity, do you want to hurry to the end? Or what if true sexualness and sexual experiences have to do with coming into that experience? Right? Change is the same way. It's enjoying the coming into the changes that you're asking for. It's being present when you're with another body, when you whipped off all your clothes and you're jumping into a, a river that's cool and delightful under the heat of the sun, that's a sexual experience as well. Uh, you want it to stop? You want, okay, I'm changed, I'm done. Okay, I'm done. I mean, how much fun is that to play with a partner whose point of view is that, right? So everywhere you're playing with yourself, with that point of view that you wanna hurry up and change, you want to rush to the change that you're asking for, you're actually missing those integral places and spaces in which you can be playing with the change that you're asking for. You can be appreciating the changes that you're asking for. You can be present with the changes that you're asking for. So my question for you today with our congruency quickie is, are you rushing to the end of the change that you're asking for? Are you listening to the whispers of awareness? Are you playing? Are you touching? Are you tasting? Are you in appreciation for where you are right now? That actually lets those changes know where they need to go, how they will grow with you. So as always, the best part of these conversations happen over at Congruent Living for Seekers and Creatives, our private Facebook group. Come on in with your comments. Let me know what pops for you. And uh, I'll be looking for those comments. I, you know, I pop in every day. And for those of you who would like to dive deeper, who are saying, you know what, Susan, I, I'm, I just, there's something about change I really don't get. I'm suffering from, because uh, it feels like suffering. I'm suffering from being stuck in my life, in my living, with my body, with my partner. Private message me and let's, let's have a conversation. Let's see what we can discover and create to create more for you in your life and your living. That's what congruent living is all about. Right? That's what congruent living coaching is all about. It's about being present with right now, with what you're asking to create and actually letting go of all that stuff that you're carrying with you from the past that has nothing to do with who you be, what you be, and where you'd like to go in your life, in your living, in your money flows, with your body, in your relationships. Because remember, your primary relationship is your relationship with you. All right, I love you, I adore you, thank you so much. Um, Desiree says, thank you. Can you please put that link in here to the group you're telling us 
um, to put our questions, please, please. Yes, I will, Desiree. Thank you so much. I definitely will do that. And just for those of you listening, this, that's our private Facebook group for Congruent Living for Seekers and Creatives. Right. Uh, and if you want to contact me privately, just DM or direct message or PM, whatever you say, private message me on Facebook and I will get right back to you. Uh, I adore you all. Thank you so much, Desiree. Thanks for listening. Thanks for popping in and thanks for your question because questions are all about, you know, ask a question and we create greater. Ask another question that creates greater. That lets the changes know, oh, that's what I'm asking for. Gee, I was all caught up in that, but I realized now that actually wasn't a question, right? So again, what if change was like great sex? It's, it's about coming. It's not about arriving. I'll leave you with that one. Okay. <laughs> Until we meet again, live boldly, love greatly, and be that fearless leader you came here to be. Because the world needs more of you and that special sauce, not less. I adore you all. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.